A man from Port Huron has been married to his wife for 62 years, and then coronavirus hit, forcing them apart for months. But as Nick Monticelli reports, all of that recently changed when Larry Burnett was given an opportunity he could not pass up. My uh, wife-to-be picked our wedding date, and she picked February 14th, 1958, and it never even occurred to either one of us that that was Valentine's Day. <laughs> and since then, Valentine's Day 1958, it seems Larry and Carol Burnett's 62-year love story has written itself. For the past two years, though, Carol has been here, Regency on the Lake, a care home in Fort Gratiot Township near Port Huron. Larry has been here, too, seven days a week, 12 hours a day. Some of the time volunteering, he even organized an appreciative drive-by parade. But most of his time has been with Carol. You know, after 62 years, well, it was 60 when she went in, it was almost like we were one person. Then the pandemic hit, and visitors, including Larry, were shut out. Many families would visit like this through a window, but that was not cutting it for the Burnetts. That's when Activities Director Sandra Ball had an idea. A part-time job was open. In three weeks, I did not get one application, so I just thought, Larry knows the job. I'm going to call and see if he wants it. And I said, when do I start? <laughs> <laughs> and on his first day of work, he finally got to see his bride after nearly four months. It was exciting. It was great. Uh, we, we hugged. We, we kissed. Um, probably shouldn't have. But. <laughs> it was emotional. It, it, it helped both of them. It helped all of us to see a family member connect with family again. There are other folks in that same facility who are in the same boat. They can't go visit their wife or, or husband. And it's, uh, you know, it's something I think about all the time. Now, Larry's job is cooking on the grill, setting up games, and other activities for the residents. And he says even when the pandemic is over, he's going to keep his job. I'm Nick Monticelli, Local 4. Now, we should add, when Larry was a volunteer, he did such a good job. He was named Volunteer of the Year last year. What a great story. Yeah, and kudos to that lady for thinking of Larry yeah. and say, why don't I just ask him? He knows the job. So right. It's really great. great. All right.